I've done it. <laughs> I've created a terrifying transgenic organism to really wow the crowds in our new quaternary world. A complete revival of Mr. Robustus' original vision. God rest his soul. He's still alive. <laughs> Behold, the indomitable horror show. Possessing the bill of a duck, the tail of a beaver, and the feet of an otter. A mammal that lays eggs. A spur on the male's hind foot delivers an extremely painful dachshund with no known anti-venom. Except for faith healing. I'm no paleontologist millennia, but I'm pretty sure that's just a platypus. Oh no! It's escaped! We should have seen this coming. It's far too intelligent. Far too deadly! It's right over there! Oh no! It just flipped the switch to the chiropter and exhibits electrical barrier. The park goers will soon experience the unbridled ferocity of a colony of bloodthirsty bats, and one of our employees, spoiler alert, probably the operations manager's assistant, might even end up getting consumed by our fin whale in the process through a series of unnecessary Fairly brutal and somewhat convoluted events. First, all of our chiropterans are harmless fruit bats. Second, fin whales are filter feeders. And third, we don't even have a fin whale. Don't worry. We have someone on site who's been training humans in preparation for potential military applications. Much to his objection, by the way. What? The trained humans will hunt down that indomitable horror show, for sure. No! It can't be! The humans have somehow accepted it as their new alpha. I must have introduced too many human gene sequences into the indomitable horror show. None of what describing is actually happening. I am literally looking through all of our files and we don't have any data on a human training program, let alone extensive transgenic experiments. All of the prehistoric genetic material we have on file comprises unaltered genomes that an alien gave me. The only solution at this point is to try and regain the trust of the humans on the off chance that they might rebel against the indomitable horror show. But even if that were to happen, the monstrosity would undoubtedly prove too strong. In a last ditch effort, we'd also have to free the tiger from Paddock 9 to give them some backup. So, uh, what are you thinking? You, uh, you just want to get something to eat or? Yeah, we better leave. And the tiger and humans, an unlikely alliance if there ever was one, would give it their all, but things would still look bleak until, in the very nick of time, the fin whale would arise from its tank and drag the indomitable horror show into the depths of the cetacean's metaphoric indigo vault. The indomitable horror show, that horrifying creature that terrorized so many would never be heard from again. Of course, I would ultimately need to escape the island with my embryos. Now, where's that ready whip can?